So here's something I want you to pay attention to. Prospective successors are already busy and productive. They're already busy and productive. The people that you're going to need to pour into, the people who are going to be your mentees, the people that you are going to tell them what you've learned and show them how to do it and do it well, they are people who are already busy and already successful, already productive in what... That's not to say that what they're doing now is what they should continue doing. Don't miss my point. I'm saying if you're looking for success, successors, don't look for folk who aren't doing anything. Now, I just want to teach you. This is just a teaching uh, experience, and so take my word for it. If you want something done, if you want to find quality folk, find busy people. Amen. Amen. I'm telling you, find busy people. When you find folk who don't have anything to do, there might be a reason they don't have anything to do. <laughs> just a thought. I'm not saying that they're all employed. Some busy, productive people are unemployed, looking for a job. But did you hear what I said? They're looking. They're productive. They're working through. I just recently talked to someone who said, I'm trying, fighting hard against discouragement. Cause, and, they, and they gave the number of interviews, the number of applications the, over the past several months of a prolonged period of unemployment and gave the number. And, and I said, hang in, be in, we, we pray and we're believing. That's a productive person because they're working on it. And God's going to open the right door at the right time. Sometime if something hasn't come through, that's because that wasn't for you. How many know there are times when you say, oh, this looks like the perfect job. You put in the application and all that, and it doesn't come through, and you get all discouraged. Let me help you understand something. One, what doesn't come through now, that means it wasn't for you now. That's all that means. That's not yours. You serve a God who knows how to open a door no man can shut. You serve a God who will give you exactly what he wants to give you. And sometimes he's blessing you by keeping you away from a certain company, a certain job. That doesn't feel like a blessing, but I'm a witness. Sometimes it's a blessing when they say no. You don't like the feeling you get when they tell you no. But I promise you, no can be the best word you ever heard in your life. Some of y'all wanted to marry somebody years ago. Oh, you wanted to marry somebody years ago. You thought that that would, that would be it. You were already putting your last name that... Scribbling it out, and it didn't come through for you. I got a word for you. That wasn't for you, boo. Wasn't yours. Sometimes you live long enough, you see it wasn't yours. Anybody else? Now, come on, your ex ain't here. I need a few folk who ran into an ex somewhere along the line, and your attitude right now is praise Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I'm so glad we didn't hook up. No can be a real blessing. But my point is, busy people are making something happen while trust, in the case of us believers, while trusting God, close every door I'm not supposed to go through, but I'm looking for you to open the right door. That's what you and I are. We're people of faith. And when they say no by faith, we say that's because God didn't want me walking in that direction. And so you got to understand some people, so I'm not talking about, and don't leave here saying, Pastor Paul said, all unemployed people are not, no, I did not, you lying wonder. <laughs> don't you put that on me, have me, have people tweeting lies about the pastor. 
No, no. But there are some folk, they are unemployed for a reason. They are not busy for a reason. You ever met folk who are just idle? They believe in silver platterology. <laughs> they sit at home believing God's going to drop blessings on into their lives on a silver platter. That's not in your Bible. The apostle Paul found out there were people like that at the church of Thessalonica. And he said, I heard y'all got some folk coming by about dinner time. And he said, who are idle? And he said, you know what I preached when I was there among you. So even though I'm not physically there while I'm writing you this letter, I want to remind you of what I said. Whoever refuses to eat, then will not, who refuses to work, will not eat. Paul said that. Saved, sanctified, filled with the mighty burning Holy Ghost. And he said, if you are too idle to work, and be industrious, when you show up at dinner time, the saints are supposed to stand in the door and say, oh, hi, how you doing? And stand right there. How can I help you? Oh, you know, I was just, I just in the area. <laughs> oh, okay, well, good to see you. We're, we're tied up right now. Can't, can't visit with you, but take care of yourself. Bless you. And shut the door. Ooh, that, some of y'all think that's not Christian. The apostle Paul said, shut the door. Because you know what? Because hunger can cure laziness. You get hungry enough, you, it's supposed to make you go do something. Come on, some of y'all remember the days where if you didn't have a job, you found a way to make some twos and fews so you could put something in your mouth. In the way I grew up in the East Coast, in, in the summer, you could always get some twos and fews because you could cut somebody's lawn. In the winter, you could do it because you could shovel their snow. Always found a way to make some twos and fews. And so you got to understand that successful uh, pers prospective successors are already busy and productive people. Notice that Elisha wasn't just dreaming, he plowing. When Elijah finds him, he's plowing. He's not sitting around under a tree dreaming. Oh, in these days, I'm going to be something. Everybody going to know my name. Mm -mm, he's plowing. Why? Because he's got to make sure his family business remains successful. Hey, thanks so much for viewing today. I hope you were blessed. Listen, if you want to receive all of the videos that we post, simply subscribe by pressing the button on your screen. We'd also like to encourage you to share this information with others so that they too can be blessed. God bless you, and we'll talk to you soon.